What is up everybody, Weston here. We are on our way down to the shop. Um, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back. Uh, today we're in the GTI, we're gonna do another little dumb mod to it. I want to install wheel studs instead of bolts because if you own a German car, you know how frustrating wheel bolts are. I'm tired of like trying to hang them and this and that. So I got a stud kit, we're gonna go ahead and install it. I'm gonna show you how to do it and let's get to it. VMS lug nuts. And I have all the studs, so we gotta do a breakdown and go get the studs. So we'll take one of these with us just so we can make sure we're getting the right thing. Let's go get parts now. absolutely hate parts stores so much so I walked into the parts store with a stud and a nut and the nut on it says 14 by 1.5 shuttle focus so I go in and I say I need 20 lug nuts that are 14 by 1.5 well at first I start looking on the shelf and Someone comes over and asks me, can I help you? And I say, yeah, I'm looking for 20 14 by 1.5 lug nuts. And as soon as they said, okay, what vehicle is it for? And I tried explaining it's for a GTI, but it's not the standard GTI lug bolt that they're gonna search because it's a conversion kit. And I showed them this stud and tried explaining. And then I had told them it's common size on a lot of Chevys for this lug nut and after about 20 minutes and me getting super frustrated with the first guy, trying to be nice, the guy got frustrated and just left me. Um, another lady came over and started talking to me and after all that, I finally got four packs of these, which is 16, and they said in another hour or so they'll have four more in. So I'm just gonna install the studs, maybe run these on one or two wheels until those come in an hour and then just change them out again. But I just absolutely hate going to parts stores and trying to explain to them, I need this part. And they try to look it up by vehicle and you just have to tell them it's not for that vehicle. They just don't know how to do that instantly. They just don't know what to do. It's the most frustrating thing ever. It's my little rant. I'm sorry for ranting. It's just so annoying. But we got the nuts. Let's go ahead and install this. I went and laid everything out. We got all 20 studs. We have 12 of these lug nuts. We'll see how they look. If I like them, I might order the rest of them and put them on. If I don't like how they look, I'm gonna go back and go get the last one because I only have 16 of these. So let's go ahead and rack the car up and we'll start. Hold the wheel. 
take the last one off, put the gun down, and then you can let go of it, because most of the times it'll just fall off and bend your heat shield and everything else. You're just filling in the butt. So I got my studs here. I got my Loctite here. And I am just going to put a fine little bead around the short end. And just thread it into the hub. Make sure that the rotor is not blocking it from going all the way in. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of them now. Particular studs, they have a 5 millimeter Allen pin, and you tighten them down to 11 foot pounds. Like I said, make sure that this is seating all the way in there. The last thing you want. It's seated all the way back here, all the way around. It's not hanging up or anything, which it looks like it is. Got the crumb on now.
All right, we got to the last one, and of course, like I said, they had 16 lug nuts, which means I have one lug nut left. And then I still have these red ones, which I tried to put on the first wheel, and I realized, if you can see, for whatever strange reason, they have a smaller thread pattern on the outside of the lug nut, so these won't even tighten down. So now I guess I'm just gonna wait, because I can't even bolt this wheel down, and have my girlfriend run me back to the store, and I have the last four lug nuts on, or five lug nuts on, and all done. But until then, I'm just gonna sit here and- Well, here we are, we're back. Um, feels like two seconds, but for me, it's been a couple hours of waiting around for those lug nuts to come in stock to the store. They finally did it, ran up, got them. Got them on, we got the car on the ground, now we are going to torque the lug nuts. I cannot stress enough how important torquing lug nuts are all the time, especially after you do a stud conversion, because who knows how tight they're gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque them, and then that's it, we'll be done. There you go, they're all tight, torqued down. I'm gonna drive the car, I don't know, maybe a little while when I get home, I'll go ahead and torque it. And tomorrow I'm gonna torque it just because it's, it's with this conversion. I'm not sure if they come loose. I definitely wanna check them. The last thing I ever wanna do is have a fall off my car. But there you go, it's done. And that's how you do it. Highly recommend it. I'm so excited. I never have to line up the wheels again, like I said. Um, I'm probably gonna end up running some spacers too. I don't know, I'm gonna look it up. I need 15 mil spacers, just to stance it out a little bit more and make the wheels a little more flush and look better. But we'll have you another video for another day. Until then, see you guys later.